let's say okay this is just uh, an example which is taken from a book and it's written in urdu language as well as in english language so we have a canal this time which is actually you can say an irrigation channel and the data and that is just shown okay you can see the data and there is section in, in cutting and we're here we have section and filling as well okay for cutting side slope is one and one for filling that is two and one okay and how how do you confirm that that is cutting or maybe that is filling you have to actually look into the nsl or natural surface level okay nsl is just over here and we have actually constructed this a bank you can say and this bank is just above the nsl it means this is just in filling okay very simple now this is in cutting because we're here we have nsl okay this is just nsl you can see that and it may be just the same way like that okay so we have just cut this this place you can say this section okay this is just uh you can say dug or maybe excavated and because of that we have actually this section in cutting okay so let's just uh, give it solution and we will have the uh, solution in the same table and the table is actually based on the the mean depth method okay you can even use mean area method no problem that's not uh, a huge deal okay you can use any method so data is given uh like maybe the rds these are known in the same picture if you remember this is the same picture rds uh, at different stations those are known okay which is the ad or uh, 30 meters that is just the interval okay and nsl for each rd that is also known you can see that like this thing this thing okay all of these now the as you can see the level of rd80 it means it start of the channel that is 233 meters that means that is just known okay the, the formation level and you can see it it is just over here it is known in the example terms now one thing that is very important is actually you cannot construct or maybe you can, cannot lay the irrigation channel okay uh, at the level surface there must be some gradient so the water can flow maybe according to the gravity so that's the reason we provide the gradient okay along the length and that is actually uh, 600 ratio one very simple so because of this we can actually calculate many other things maybe the formation level for other rds such as 830 860 90 920 and then 950 so how we can do it for that we actually need uh how much the 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 channel is just dropping okay per meter or maybe after each interval so that's what we are going to calculate so the fallen bed in each 30 meter interval can be actually 30 which is actually the distance or maybe the interval and we will divide that by 600 because uh, that is actually the, the gradient which is known you can see that okay 0 0.05 meters and this is actually the, the fall and bed in each 30 meters interval okay now this is the thing which we want because of this and because of the, the first fl which is known we will calculate the formation level for the remaining rds okay so the formation level for the next rd can be now if we subtract this video because the the channel is just dropping okay it is just like maybe like this way okay so the elevation over here is more and after 30 meters the elevation can be uh, you can say decreasing okay so that's the reason so we will be just subtracting this video from the first formation level and that's as you can see we have 232.95 now we will subtract that video again from the new uh, formation level so we can have actually another video which is dead and so on you can do it now depth that is just the previous thing and we have already learned that you can just subtract or it is you can say the difference between the formation level and the nsl okay so depth at each interval can be determined now the mean depth this is just to add two depths and then divide that by two like maybe 2.5 plus 2.85 divided by two 
that's going to be the mean depth okay for these two uh, stations and that is actually 2.67 okay again 2.85 plus 2.35 divided by 2 that's going to be 2.6 and so on just do it now the the actually the central area okay let me just say if we have some conditions like this okay let's say if we have this area this is actually a rectangle so this is called the central area okay and that can be actually b times d b is known d can be known over here or maybe just over here if you are working in in filling okay b times d now b that is known which is 5 you can see that times d d can be actually the mean depth that is also known so 5 times 2.67 that's 13.35 now again 5 times 2.6 that can be 13 5 times 2.87 that can be 14.35 and so on now sd square that's very important sd square means side slope can be taken okay uh, from these two sections, it can be 1 ratio 1 and it can even be 2 ratio 1, okay? However, this time, we will be just taking the side slope of the cutting section because we already know that there is cutting. And how? How we can know that? Because if you see, the formation level is just less than the NSL. And over here in the same diagram, as you can see, NSL is just above the formation level. So when formation level is just, down, just you can say down, then we have some cutting, you can say. So that's why we will be just using this ratio. Or you can say one ratio one. So one times 2.67, which is the mean depth. And over there we have square, okay? So that's gonna be actually the side area or you can say the area of this triangular portion, this one, and for the other side as well, okay? All right, so again, we have one, which is the side slope times the depth, and this time the depth is going to be this one, 2.6, and the square can be taken, so we can have 6.76, okay, and so on. I'm just uh, speeding over here because we have already learned about this thing in the previous video. If you are not that clear, you can watch the previous video, okay? So you can have you know, a clear amount according to or maybe you know, just about this problem, okay? Or maybe about the mean depth and mean area. Now, the summation of area, which means this area plus this area and that's going to be actually the summation of area so this area plus this one that can be actually 20.48 and then 13 plus 6.76 that can be actually 19.76 and so on now we have the distance which is actually the interval and that is just 30 how 30 because as you can see the, the first R that is 80, then we have 80 and 30, and then 860, okay? It, it means there is increase of only 30 meters. So the distance between two RDs is actually 30 meters, okay? Now, area times distance, that is just the earthwork, and that is in cutting, okay? And again, area, which is 19.76 times the distance, which is 30, that's actually the earthwork and so on. What do you say? It's very simple. So we have the total cutting and that's actually 3,259.5 cubic meter. Very simple. So this is how we can actually calculate the earthwork in plain areas is according to the previous session and earthwork in hilly area according to the today's uh, session is there any questions no sir okay it means uh, you guys are clear about this okay how much time do we have okay we have just uh covered this in in 30 minutes okay so next uh is it enough or uh, i should have another topic
अच्छा आप लोग इस पे प्रैक्टिस करें अगर किसी जगह पे कोई मसला हो तो फिर आप पूछ सकते हैं ठीक है ओके अल्लाह हाफिज